Hello and welcome to Compline on this Thursday evening in ordinary time when we honor Ninian, Bishop in Galloway. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. In the glory of your name, amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit, amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You have set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your hearts in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples went out from there and passed through Galilee. He did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and three days after being killed he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another, who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it between them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whosoever welcomes one child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy 
and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. As Christ, our Savior, taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of power and might. My soul has a desire and longing to enter the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh rejoice in the living God. The sparrow finds for herself a house, and the swallow a nest where she may lay her young. Even so have the singers a home at your altars, and they stand always praising you, my King and my God. O Lord, God of hosts, blessed are those who dwell in your house. Blessed are those whose strength is in you and who have set their hearts on pilgrimage. Going through the arid valley, they find a spring from which to drink. The early rain covers it with pools of water. They go from strength to strength and appear everyone before God in Jerusalem. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Show favor, O God, to the King, our Defender, and look upon the face of your anointed Prince. Truly, one day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather stand at the threshold of the house of my God than live in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord God is a defense and shield. The Lord will give grace and honor, and no good thing will be withheld for those who live a blameless life. O Lord, O God of hosts, blessed are those who put their trust in you. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying and soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God of mercy, you have given us grace to pray with one heart and one voice, and have promised to hear the prayers of two or three who agree in your name. Fulfill now, we pray, the prayers and longings of your people, as may be best for us and for your kingdom. Grant us in this world to know your truth, and in the world to come to see your glory. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
Bless us and keep us this night. Amen.